Bad news that we saw yesterday, the 49ers have placed running back Christian McCaffrey on injured reserve. This is the next four weeks of the season. He was, of course, in the shocking uh, announcement rule out week one, not too long before the game, you know, a few days before this, the game started. What matter what kind of controversy when Mason was getting interviewed, it was totally he was going to be starting on Friday. Again, caused a little controversy with the NFL because of not letting the te- anyone know earlier about the injury for McCaffrey. And no surprise here, him being placed in the IR with, with dealing with a knee and Achilles injury. And reading this even longer, this is something I even expected before this article even came out, but this kind of really should you know solidify the issue with this, is him potentially missing much longer. It's, you know, No doubt for, for both sides, for 49ers, and also for her, you know, if you're a fancy owner, draft McCaffrey first overall, expect him to be out for much longer than, than four weeks. Again, that, that's something I really do believe in. Look at the Yahoo Sports article here. Scroll into the balance. San Francisco 49ers are without running back Christian McCaffrey for at least four weeks. A report from NFL's media and rap report indicates it could be longer than that. Rap report on Sunday morning reported McCaffrey is expected to be out for at least six weeks. That would be at least two weeks beyond the, the man, uh, mandated four-week absence when a player is on IR. The 49ers officially placed McCaffrey on IR on Saturday. Four-week absence would make San Francisco week six matchup against the Seattle Seahawks. The earliest he could return. If McCaffrey is out six weeks, it means he, he will return or he will come against the Dallas Cowboys in week eight. I, to be honest, for this one, I expect this to be even farther than six weeks when, you know, especially with McCaffrey with his injury history not too long ago, it is a little worrisome with, you know, especially here in knee and Achilles. That's when you don't want to, you know, no doubt, don't want to mess with, especially for an Achilles injury and also for the knee, possibly ACL. I'm not saying there is any report about that but you know that's certainly something that comes to mind when you hear knee injury with that because you look at his stats remember the last time he had a big season was back in 2019 when he was one of the very few running backs to again go for a thousand a thousand a thousand rushing yards a thousand receiving yards in 2019 it was insane and you know 2019 287 carries 1387 yards 15 touchdowns he also he also tacked on 116 receptions for 1,005 yards, four touchdowns. Insane. Absolutely insane to see uh, the, the reception-wise for that. Even with the 49ers, how much they utilize them in the offense, it doesn't even come close to the, the, the reception you see back in 2018 and 2019 for the receiving game. 107 y- receptions and 116 in back-to-back. That's that's insane for any for any, for any wide receiver of you know elite status. That's It's absurd. And there's no doubt to have that on a running back. It's, it's a lot of extra hits. And you saw once he surpassed 2019, after that 2019 season, the 1,000-thousand uh, yard season, you look at the games he missed. 2020, he only played three games, was out for the whole year. After that, 2021, played a little bit more games, but only played seven that year, missed the rest. After that, in 2022, he did play a full season, uh, six with the Carolina Panthers before getting traded to San Francisco and playing 11 after that. And then 2023, essentially played the whole season, missed one game, but essentially played the whole season with 16 games. Now, once again, we are back to that dilemma back, you know, almost a like deja vu in 2019. You look at what he did this year. It was a lot. Maybe not the same usage compared to what was in Carolina in 2019, but it's still up there. 272 attempts for over 1,459 yards, 14 touchdowns. He also added on 67 receptions for 564 yards, 7 touchdowns. Again, definitely, it's, you know, definitely a lot less receptions than it was in Carolina, but it's still it's a high it's a high u- usage, and no doubt he deserved Offensive Player of the Year. He was phenomenal. He was one of the best players in the, in the game last year. For person for me, I think he had a good chance to win MVP because I think that's what he was. I don't believe Mark Jackson should have won it. I think Christian McCaffrey was that guy. He, I think he was consistent throughout the whole season. But that's you know that's your you know that's for a different topic. But no doubt he w- you know once again he was heavily utilized once again in his career. And you're seeing kind of reper- almost you know, repercussions again. Are we going to have another, you know, another uh, dilemma like getting back like how it was in 2020 or 2020 and 2021 where he misses a bunch of games? It's certainly a possibility. So that's why I wouldn't even I wouldn't even project six weeks. I think it could me further than that. I don't want to compare this to similar to Marquise Brown with him missing the entire regular season. I don't want to go as far as that for McCaffrey, but. I think in the safe side, I think I would not be surprised if they push that even further down the road from, you know, then four to six weeks. I, you know, I don't want to, it could be maybe eight weeks, 10 weeks. I don't know what it, what it may be, but I think, from, again, with the injury wise, with the concerns with Achilles and knee, I don't think you want to ruin 
McCaffrey with the the money you you paid him, the compensation you you gave up to get him, and the game changer he is. I mean, we, I mean, no doubt Jordan Mason has been serviceable in the first two games, uh, back to back 100 yard games. I think over, if they get over 100, 120 in Week One against the Jets, he had in this game against the, in a losing effort for the Vikings, uh, he had 20 carries, 100 in the yards rushing. One touchdown. He also added one catch for four yards. So again, serviceable. He is doing a phenomenal job. You know, getting thrust into into the, the, this role of of the the starting running back position. But let's not joke ourselves. I mean, this is a huge drop off from Jordan Mason. I'm sorry, from Christian McCaffrey to Jordan Mason. Christian McCaffrey has been electrifying ever since he's gotten there. He has been a vital piece of this offense. You look at the last two years of what they have done. NFC Championship game when he first arrives there in 2022. 2023 to go all the way Super Bowl to overtime against the Chiefs. So no doubt he is one of the most league-altering players in the game. Certainly, you could, you know, no doubt the best running back in the game, without a doubt, one healthy. And it's just, again, it's a, it's a it's a huge huge loss with this one. And I'm I mean very interested to see how the 49ers play out this this dilemma with what 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 they're what they're going with. If you look quickly to their schedule for the upcoming games and what they have to face. I mean, we do see if you just project the next four games. If that's a, if that's the the best case scenario, four weeks, you got the Rams, the Patriots, the Cardinals, and Seahawks. Again, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. The Rams got blown out by the by the Cardinals t- today, so no doubt I think they'll be playing with a much big, much you know, big chip on their shoulder, playing much more physical, a better you know, tougher game for that one. Patriots are surprising people, no doubt of of what they're doing. Uh, a huge upset against the Bengals week one pushed the Seattle Seahawks to overtime in a losing effort uh, this as a date recording today on Sunday the Cardinals again shocked you know blew out the Rams 41 to 10 did a good you know did, really did a good job in week one against the Bills uh, no doubt the second half that you know they kind of fell apart a little bit the Bills defense kind of figured out the, the offense but no doubt they still they still held their own in that one and the Seahawks no doubt they got a ton of playmakers in Jigba DK Metcalf Tyler Lockett We'll see uh, Waller should be back for that one as well. Or sorry, Walker should be back for that one as well. Geno Smith not doing a bad job there. Defense doing a good job as well. So that first four weeks, that is going to be difficult. Then if you expand it to, let's say, two more weeks, you have the reigning Super Bowl champion, the Kansas City Chiefs. We already know the, the, the difficulty with that, the standard for that. And also the Dallas Cowboys, you know, so-so. You don't know what type of Dallas Cowboys team you're going to get. Very, you know, impressive in week one against the Cowboys or against the Browns. Whatever how you feel about Deshaun Watson, but did a phenomenal, dominant performance week one, and they turn around and get absolutely blown out by the the, the uh, New Orleans Saints. So you don't know what type of Dallas Cowboys team you're going to get in that scenario, but it could potentially be a, a, certainly a difficult one. Even if you look out after that, let's say eight weeks, Buccaneers, Seahawks again. Again, when we talk about the Seahawks, it's a division rival, will be a little bit challenging for that one. Buccaneers don't look too bad as well. Baker Mayfield uh, had an impressive week one, amazing week one performance, I should say. Definitely, you know, struggled a little bit with the, with the Detroit Lions, but they came out on top with that one. So, no doubt, going to be another tough matchup for the Buccaneers, and then so on and so forth. You look at the rest of the schedule; it is going to be a little bit challenging. So, you look at an upcoming schedule, and it's again, it's losing a guy like Christian McCaffrey is immense. And that's not go on the limb saying that we oh, we we all know we all know how phenomenal Christian McCaffrey is. I'm just interested to see how how uh, Mason does with this one. So far, off to a great start. Two back-to-back 100, 100 rushing yards se- uh, games. That is something that, you know, that's more than enough than what they've been asking for. And if he can he still average it out, that's phenomenal. But once again, that is a huge part. That's a huge loss of the, uh, on that offense. A vital part that they have. Another person that's really going to step up is, is Brock Purdy. Whether it's fair or not, it's gonna he's going to really have to step up for that one. There was a little, you know, Discussion last year when they're in that three-game skid when some of the players were out if he was kind of carried because of the, the, the amazing talent around them. He's going to have to kind of deal with that once again. He's still going to have, of course, George Kittle, Brian Ayuk, uh, Debo Samuel, and then as well uh, Mason, who's done a, a great job coming in to fill the, the starting running back position. But Brock Purdy's going to have to step up because that's a huge loss. He's going to have to play better. So it's going to be very interesting to see the dynamics of how the next few weeks came, you know, play out. No doubt I'll be looking at just those two, obviously, Mason and Brock Purdy and how those two how those two play. But once again, it's, you know, unfortunately, McCaffrey is going to be out. It sucks. It's just, it's, again, it's another replay of back in 20, 2020 and 2021 of that. Unfortunately, that's what we have to deal with. Hopefully, for his sake, he can come back week four. At the worst case, week six. I, I mean, I, I really hope this isn't like, similar to what I, what I said earlier about Marquise Brown, that it just gets pushed back further and further and further. 
until the point where it's essentially the whole entire regular season. Because I just don't know. I mean, not to say they're going to miss the playoffs and McCaffrey is out that long, but it's, again, it's just it's it, it just makes the, the road difficult to get there. Hopefully, is when they make the playoffs, or if they do make the playoffs, he's healthy then, and then they can get back on track with that one. 